playing some One Piece TCG today, and when it comes to beating impossible boards, that's what Blue Nami does. It's a puzzle at the end of the day and an all win con that's really, really fun to navigate. And against impossible boards, you do need a lot of things working for you. But when they do, with a couple of well placed triggers and then maybe a well placed Kaya, things tend to line up for a pretty fantastic end result. We have the option to go second against blue purple Kaido. Actually, again, running across this for the first time, the things are all full of like NL and Sakazuki. So this is nice when you're one of your opponents, Kaido, you can have one Don. Okay. I mean, we'll run this hand. It's not terrible, but yeah, there you go. All right. They'll ramp into stuff. Kaido will swing. Um, if they swing with like all three Dawn just to like ramp, then not ramp, they'd have to KO one of my Kuji. Yeah, so in this case, I will just dump something here. I've said it before, I'm like not comfortable with taking life this early. Let's deploy. That sucks. We'll grab this. And we will, yeah, like th this is the order. We want the. I'll put it like this. So instead, if I don't find the Kaya, I know to get the the beam. Yeah, okay. And then return it like that. Yeah, not not the not the best buggy, but this is why I've shaved copies of buggy in my list. Ooh, a blocker. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Next turn, we're just going to go Nojiko, bump that. Yeah, bump that, drop to Nojiko. Bang. Just using up your time, using up your time. Next turn, we can go like Zeph, bounce Nojiko. Have to use a Deathwing here, though. Oh, there's the ramp they're looking for. There's the island. I was I was wondering if if this deck was playing this, but that makes sense. I was gonna say purple Kaido will play this, but I guess they just didn't have like a hand that found it. So they played. They're gonna hate me for this. Uh yeah. At, th at this point, I'm fine with taking some damage. Like, I, I, this deck's not gonna have like rush characters, so. I'm at 30 cards again. As I mentioned, 30 is where I'm comfortable to start taking some life, start getting some triggers. 10 is absolutely insane with one of my things at the bottom. 10 cost Kaido. I, mean, I guess. <laughs> Rain, it's not really that useful, is it? Uh, I think I'm going to play it regardless, though, because we can death wink. Not blocking that though. It could block a Kaido swing. Uh, we'll do it. No targets. Uh, that's not bad. One. And two. It isn't great. I think I'm taking like two hits. Uh, depending on how much they swing with this this Kaido. What's nice here is though that came down. Like, didn't ramp them at all, because they're already at 10. So, that's kind of nice. Yup. One card from their hand. Okay, well, I'm friggin' trashing the gavel. Yeah. Trashing the gavel. Yup. Yo, why is this not in my life? Yeah, resolve. Uh, yeah, use that trigger. Okay. Drop that. Peel off's nice. Peel off is pretty nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to keep going through the deck here. Okay. Uh... Drop a buggy. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna be taking some more damage here. That's okay. Truly, that is okay. That is okay. But we found two peel off, so we're able to like draw through like pretty damn quick here. No. 
this is what I mean. Without Red Rock, how do you survive in formats like this? Like, look at this. Look at what's going on. How do you survive in formats like this? Okay, Kaido coming in. <sighs> During this turn. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Start by placing cards on top. I think this is fine. I don't I don't think I necessarily want those at the bottom. They're gonna help me like go through. This is gonna be a pretty quick set of turns here. Uh like I'm not countering out of those. So it's fine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not counting out of those. Resolve. Come on, give me a trigger. Like, give me a trigger. Use the trigger. Let's drop. Drop one death wink. Might not be the right call, but I'm making it. So they're like pretty much tapped out. I'm at 13 cards. It's a crazy world. It's a crazy world. Let's draw two cards first. Do I save this to like counter out? Or do I bounce? I think I bounce. And then now I can go pitch, pitch, pitch. It's not cute, but it's what's got to happen. Wondering if I'm supposed to just deploy, grab gavel. I think gavel is better. And turn. Hmm. I think gavel is like net better. This isn't really doing much. I know that it's just, it's just like not much. I'm interested in killing on their side. So, oh, okay. That is a blocker. That's fine. Two cards from their hand. Okay. Not cute, but it works. Let's trash the death wink. Nine cards. I think I actually like, I desperately need this to draw me two cards. I think that's the only way this works. I'm just trying to think what my math is here. Play this. I don't know. I'm trying to think what my math is. This isn't hitting me. Uh, I'll redraw. Oh, that works. So, okay, hold on, hold on. This actually might work. Next turn, I go to seven. Draw to, it's close, take the attack. Oh, 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 this might be a win. This might be a win. This, because of that trigger, this might be a win. Okay, okay, Blue Nami might actually see the win here. Hundo P, we are using this. Drop that, four cards. Just for the, just for the sake of dropping cards, right? And then we are Gucci. Yo, GG's. Yo, let's go double Kaya deploy. GG's. Let's go. The blue Nami win against Kaido. Um, it's pretty good. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. But we were able to sequence some things. We didn't, we didn't ultimately need our red rocks here, but... Yeah, just again, like stuff like this is really important. You really need your fifth Kaya to like go through, bounce some stuff if that happens. But all right, GG's opponent, GG's.